Teachers in West Virginia are holding their ground. They say they won't go back to work until they get a 5% raise. Lawmakers are debating whether to give them what they're asking for. And it means 300,000 students in West Virginia may not be heading back to school tomorrow. CNN's Kaylee Hartung joins me now with more on this. So it looked as though the strike was headed toward a resolution late um, in the week, but then... Not really. It all fell apart. Yesterday, lawmakers argued for hours until 11 o'clock at night, but wow. they could not agree on how much to raise teachers pay by. So let's put this into perspective. High school teachers in West Virginia earn about $45,000 a year. They are among the lowest paid educators in the country. They are saying they will not go to work, go back to work without a 5% increase. That adds up to about $2,000 a year per teacher, a bill of around $50 million to the state annually. Yesterday, the Senate actually approved a 4% raise. All that did, though, was infuriate teachers because they want five. That bill then went to the state house where it was rejected earlier. They had already approved that 5% raise. Mm -hmm. It was a day of emotional arguments. Teachers and their supporters in the gallery to listen to the arguments by lawmakers. And at the end of the day, teachers finding the process disheartening and confusing. We're playing with people's emotions, their livelihoods, and it directly affects our students. So let's do this right. Let's do it to keep, attract and retain teachers in West Virginia, keep our service personnel at a living, you know, get them to a living wage. This is unprecedented. It's confusing. And it's just really, again, I think they're disheartened by the process. Much of the debate on Saturday was about where to find the money for any pay raise. Republican legislatures insist that they can't afford it. This is a, a difference of about $13 million that we're talking about when you look at the discrepancy between the 4% that the Senate says they're okay with versus the 5% of the House. Now the next step is for a legislative conference to meet. This is likely going to be three members from each chamber, yet we don't know when this group will meet. No heads up on the timing. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. But until they come to a decision about Getting to that number that these teachers want, it's looking like 300,000 kids will stay out of the classroom. Friday. And it could be a matter of days or weeks. Even if it comes to that, then the teachers say they would not be returning to the classroom, which 5%. means families are trying to figure out what to do when their kids are not in school. Mm -hmm. That's right.